what we have here is a straight line, okay? The graph shows the relationship between the hours Etta works at her part-time job and the money she earns as a result. Use the graph to estimate the following, okay? So guys, if you if you look at this, guys, all right? That's one. So if I was to write this as a sequence, okay? T1 equals 10. T2 equals... T2? About... What's about 18, is it? T2 is 18, T3 looks about to be maybe 36 or something like that, or, sorry, I think it, I think it's 9, 18, uh, 27, and I reckon the next one is around 36, so I'm estimating from a graph, see the way it goes up, 9, 18, uh, 27, 36, do you see the way the gaps between them are always the same? Do you see that? That means that it's a, it's going to be graphed as a straight line and it's also a linear sequence. It, uh, just one second, it is, the difference is, is constant. So for every hour you work, you get the same amount of money each hour. Okay. We have here, guys, is the graphic shows the relationship between the hours S has worked at a part-time job and the money she earned result. Use the graph to estimate the following. Estimate the amount of work, estimate the amount that she will get paid for work in a four-hour shift. So what you do here, guys, is you go to four hours on your graph. Do you see four hours? Here, yeah? You go up, and then you go directly across. And what value do we think that is? It's in between 30 and... 40, but it looks ever so slightly above halfway. 36 or 37, both answers will be acceptable. So we make 36 euro for that one there. How many hours will Etta have to work in order to get 63 euro? So what we do is we go up the graph and we go towards 63. Then what happens next? We drop it directly down. How many hours do we think that's closest to? Six, seven, or eight. What's in between six and seven, uh, six and eight? So I reckon it's closest to seven. Seven hours. Calculate the hourly rate that Etta is getting paid. Now, the hourly rate is uh, what we're just going to estimate it, okay? Or we can do it. We can do it another way. Do you see ten hours, guys? Yeah. 10 hours gets us how many? 10 hours gets us how much money? 90. And we can see that they're both on the line, aren't they? So 10 hours equals 90 euro. Therefore, what's one hour? Divided by 10 and you get 9. 9 euro. Is that all right? 9 euro. Now, Form an equation which represents the relationship between how much money Etta earns and the number of hours she works. Okay, we'll, we'll put it this way. Uh, money. Now, if I work one hour, how much do I get? Nine multiplied by one, nine. If I work two hours, nine multiplied by two, 18. If I work 10 hours, nine multiplied by 10, 90. Nine multiply it by t where t represents how many hours you worked do you understand choose a letter what does m represent how much money you get so if i say t equals 12 what does that mean how much money would you get for working 12 hours 9 by 12 108 Is that all right so that's your formula m equals 9t Uh, T1 would be 9, T2 would be 18. We're not doing sequences anymore, so we don't actually have to use that language. What I'm explaining is that sequences are related to this. It's going up by the same amount each time. Etta wants to buy a new games console and needs to save 252 euro. How many hours will she have to work to earn this amount? So, she has to work, she has to work so many hours that it equals 252. What do you recommend we do with the 9? 
9 multiplied by the numbers of hours we work equals 252. What happens when we bring the 9 over to your side? Divided by? No, opposite way around. Divided by? 9. So T, 252 divided by? 9. And what do you get? You need to work 28 hours to get that money up. So do you understand, if I kept adding on 9 over and over and over again, I'd have to work 28 hours. Okay? So, this one here. And uh, on average, Joe's car can travel 12 kilometers on one liter of petrol. Use this information to complete the following table. Okay. Uh, one 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 liter equals 12 kilometers. What would five liters equal? A bigger number or a smaller number than 12? How much bigger? Five times bigger. 60 kilometers. Uh, 15 liters will get me. I is it bigger than 12? How many times bigger than 12? So 12 multiplied by 15 equals 180. Lads, can you see a trend going on here? What's the gap? So, 240, 300 and... I'm only allowed to do this because the gap on the liters is also the same, isn't it? It goes up in fives. So the distance you cover will go up in sixties. That makes sense? You alright, Kenny? Makes sense? Now, Use your graph to estimate how far Joel will travel. So I have to I have to draw the graph now, okay? So when I look at this, is it going to be a straight line graph, guys? Is the lo is the graph going to be a straight line? Yes or no? How do you know for sure? Goes up with the same number, okay? Now here's what happens. We have to go from zero up to three hundred and. 60. Round off 360 maybe to 400. Let's see how many blocks we have. We have a good few, but we still have to see how many we have. Okay, ready? So, I'm going to count how many blocks I have up in fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, uh, 30, 35, 35. How far do I have to go up again? 35 and 36 are very close together, aren't they? I, I easily have 36 blocks, don't I? Because 35 blocks is here. Would you agree with that? So, what would be a good number to go up in? Imagine that 35 blocks equals... What would be a good number for 35 blocks to equal? Considering we have to go up towards 360. If 35 blocks was to equal 350, that'd be really convenient, wouldn't it? Because the 36 block would equal 360. So here's what we're going to do. Every block is worth 10. So look at this. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 60, 70, 80, 90, oh. I made a mistake there. Go again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Am I, am I short now, am I? Ah! So, go again. Alright, so this is awkward. So, how many blocks do I have this time? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Now, I just haven't got enough blocks to make this work, okay? So, what I'm going to do now instead is I'm going to round it down towards 25. So, 25, either that or I get a bigger page. 
what we decided to do there was we decided to get our 35 blocks back because we really wanted 35 blocks to make this work or 36 blocks to make this work so we're going to count up again this time and this time I'm hoping I'll have all 36 blocks on eight. everybody ready? so let's try this again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 5 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 10 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 15 20 25 30 and I only have to make up as far as 36 35 and then 36 is one above it everybody happy with that? I want 35 blocks to be roughly equal to 350 what does that mean one block is worth? one block is worth 10 therefore what's 5 blocks worth? what's 10 blocks worth? 100, so we're going to count up in 50s. 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350. Now, on the x-axis, we're going up in? Going up in fives, aren't we? How many points do we need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We need 7 different points. Let's see if we can space it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Everybody happy with that? Count up in fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. What's the name of this axis? And it's for this question it's going to be called? Leaders. What's the name of the y axis? And what's it called in this question? Kilometers. So you can do it like that. You can write it like that. Or if you can fit it in this way, you can write it like that. Depends on how much space you have on your axis. Okay, everybody right? Now let's draw the let's draw the uh the points. It's a straight line, right? If it's a straight line, what are the only two points I need to draw? first point and the last point so let's draw the first point and the last point and then dot them up first point is zero zero what's the last point thirty and three sixty is there thirty five no it wasn't a thirty five so thirty to three sixty that's three fifty right so to do this i'm going to do it like this i'm going to draw this line all the way up Gonna draw this line all the way right. They're basically acting as a ruler for me. That's the point there. Everybody all right with that? So that's that's how we find that point. No, I'm not deleting that. I'm deleting this here. Now what do I do with both lines? Huh? Yeah. So there you go there. Is that alright? Now guys, what are the points then you dot you dot every five, don't you? So it's going to be this one here. I'll use green. 1, then 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and then finally the last one, isn't it? That's a nice graph, isn't it? Pretty happy with that. Very neat. Make it look something like that, guys, for your homework, alright? Now, what happens next? Use your graph to estimate how far Joe could tra drive with 18 litres of petrol. Where's 18 litres? So, remember, we're, we're going up in fives. So, that'll be uh, the midway point would be. I oh said the midway point would be 17 and a half, wouldn't it? What's, what's halfway between 20 and 15 and 20?